Hi Leo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 26th to November the 2nd. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel, for all your interest in these 12 videos that I put out there, and for all the kind comments coming in by all the subscribers uh, and uh, positive comments on these videos. I am truly blessed. We start our week, Leo, with a fire card. Now, the fire cards represent our ideas, setting our dreams in motion, and about risk-taking, adventure, self-development. This particular two of fire is telling me that some of you have been dealing with a situation uh, around you that you've been quite concerned with, and now you've, you can, you can, you've come into your own, okay? You've been dealing with this situation, uh, whether it's your job, uh, whether it's uh, you've been purchased, you've purchased property, uh, whether... Um, it has to do with some of you signing contracts. I see you signing contracts and uh, and uh, and partnerships, partnering up with somebody else. So perhaps you're you're buying into a business. Perhaps you're buying property together uh, or something like that. It's all about new partnerships and signing contracts right now. It is a move forward. They're telling me to continue to move forward. It is a move forward with this uh, with this new thing coming into you on Monday. Okay, you've come into your own. You've finally been working on it on a situation. You've made up your mind, and now you're moving forward with it. On Tuesday, you've been given an air card, and this particular air card is the Queen of Air. Now, air cards have to do with communication. They have to do with the justice or the injustice in our life, and often they can have to do with the legal system. This one is telling me that you have a decision to make right now, and that like this queen who's head of her court, that she rules and she can control everything around her, she has the power to do that. You are going to have that power too, because it shows me that you're clearing away things around you that no longer serve you. It can be situations. It can be a project you're working on. It can be people around you. Uh, many, many different things, but you're clearing away things that no longer uh, serve you. It can be relationships that aren't working anymore. More, and that you're you're going to do this, but you're going to see the humor in it. You're finally going to sit back and go, why didn't I do this a long time ago? I had the ability to do this, to manifest and believe that I could make this change in my life and that I had the control like this queen does. So on Tuesday, that's what you're going to be doing. But you need to be objective when you're doing this and making a decision in your life. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you have been given another fire card. And this is the Queen of Fire, another queen in your life right now. This is all about something that you have been dealing with and that now you can spread your wings and and uh, and fly, okay? You have the independence now. You have the courage now. You have the confidence now. It's telling me on Wednesday. And don't underestimate yourself, okay? Don't put yourself down. Um, you're going to be able to assert your own independence and your own creativity around Wednesday with a situation coming into you. Stretch your wings, my friend and fly. On Thursday, you've been given a major card, and this major card you've been given is the Empress card. This is a great card. This is telling me that all the hard work that some of you have been dealing with is going to now start showing you and reaping the re rewards that you so deserve. It's like no matter what you do, I call this the Midas Touch card, no matter what you do, you're going to fall and land on your feet. You're going to come up smelling like roses no matter what you put your hands on. It's like the Midas Touch right now. And it's showing me that it can have to do with all parts of your lives. Perhaps it has to do with your marriage and your children and your family because it's showing me that relationships are are flourishing right now for some of you too and you need to know that you can enjoy your life around you and know that you deserve all this good that you've been working on and that you've been bringing into yourself and that you've been um, manifesting to happen um, it's coming into you it's all good times that are coming into you right now it's an excellent time also they're showing me it's an excellent time for health for physical and emotional health for you out there. So the Empress is a wonderful card about um, great rewards in, in a, so many different areas of some of your lives right now. At the end of the week, the work week, on Friday, uh, you've been given another air card again. And again, I tell you, it has to do with communication, justice, and often the legal system in our lives. This one is telling me that some of you have been dealing with issues like that, that are a little concerning and that are a little worrying and have, have uh, are emotionally really wearing you down. And to the point where you physically feel tired and you're thinking, oh, if I could just get away and take a vacation, 
Okay, well, they're saying that you need to make um, allow more time before you make this decision because perhaps you don't have the resources, the time, or the effort right now to go and do this. So this is the card that says that you need to take yourself on a mini vacation, a mental, emotional, spiritual mini vacation, and that, my friend, is meditation. So please take yourself to your favorite place of silence and go within yourself and meditate. Do your breathing. Think about what it is you want to change. Think about uh, manifesting those things happening to you. And when you do come out of this meditation, you will feel as though you're more rested and you're more peaceful. And that's what often vacations do for us when we come back. We feel, ah, oh, now I feel better and I can face all those things happening in my life again. <clears throat> On Saturday, my friend, another major card, and this particular one is the Emperor. The Emperor, he's the king. Um, he, 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 it shows Archangel Raphael, or per, per, pardon me, Archangel Michael here. It's all about organization. It's all about uh, bringing in logic into some of your lives right now, and cultivating discipline and order. And um, like this Emperor, he has to go according to uh, to the rules, and uh, that you your dreams will be. Valid if you can do this but you need to follow some guidelines so there's things going on in some of your lives right now where you're going to have to uh, to, to uh, follow those guidelines and be organized um, but they're also telling me because this is the Emperor that you again have leadership qualities and that you can do this <coughs> excuse me um, you need to take that leadership role right now and it has to do uh, perhaps in your career some of you that you need to step forward and take on the leadership role and that projects are working uh, in those projects that you're working on at your place of employment Sunday the end of the week my friend the magician oh the magician it's such a great card it's all about um, manifesting your dreams and that timing right now is perfect to begin any new projects for some of you and to stop worrying that you can manifest what you want believe it stop procrastinating and get on with it and know that you can do this you're ready you have the resources and the ability to manifest them right now and think of life as man magical so if you do that the law of attraction again we attract what we are if we believe we're going to get it we're going to get it <clears throat> we can manifest that do your I am affirmations every day. I am capable of this. I am strong. I am able to be a leader and have leadership qualities. So this is what the magician is all about. It's almost like magic when you tap into that. And there will be some unexpected resources to help you with this. The end of the week. It's, it's amazing how you got the, the magician and uh, the empress these very very positive cards about spreading your wings and being able to know that this abundance can come in and 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 that you're ready and and you can fly now and to take those leadership roles look what the universe sent you today my friend and your guides manifestation it's all about again like I say the law of attraction we attract what we are what we throw out into the universe the universe is going to throw back to us so if we walk around with that little dark cloud over our head every day and we're very negative and we can't see the positive in any situations in our lives we're just going to continue to manifest that and bring more of that in and that's how it works my friend so believe that things can happen believe positively believe and do your affirmations every day that you are going to attract the abundance that you need or you're going to attract that beautiful relationship that you're looking forward to that you're going to attract the money that you need in the bank to pay your bills believe and manifest that's what this card signifies know that your guides and angels are around you and that they are giving you this message to believe in them okay follow the law of attraction my friend so I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and should you require another private reading with me or for the new Leos coming into me, my little lions, new lions and lionesses, I invite you to go to my website and my website is www.brenda, tarot spell T-A-R-O dot info. I uh, hope to see you soon. And uh, for those that are coming in again, I thank you for coming in again for more readings. I leave you again with another quote today. And the quote I chose today is, you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. Again, okay? New way to think, my friend.
<clears throat> I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Leo. I'll see you again next week and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friends.